Out of Kromali. Look at that. Some crazy stuff here, dude. Yeah. All the anti-roll bars with the, all the adjustments. All fair link up front. And you guys can see he's got tons of leg room. Look at this. All right. What do we got here? Got a race trailer. Big old truck behind his garage doors. This is going to be a fun video, guys. There he is. What's up, up man? man? How you doing? Long time no see, buddy. Yeah. You look great, dude. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> I, must, I must warn you, full race car alert. Full yeah. Full race car alert. So the last time you seen this yes. was... We stripped it down. It was a bare shell. It, dude, honestly, like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I thought you were like way over your head. Yeah, and honestly, back then, I think the original plan was we were just going to motor swap it and, like, throw a cage in it, and that was... No, you started talking about, like, crazy stuff, too, and I was like, there ain't no way. There's no way. There's no way this will ever happen. I kind of started doubting myself, too, because, like, we were kind of in between on plans, and then, like, when stuff really started getting rolling, it was, like, fall last year and then into the winter, and then COVID hit. Yeah. So we were, like, er, like, slow down. Slow down. Then, the last couple months have been full bore. A long time ago, this man and I myself were stationed at Fort Campbell. So we're yeah. both out now, but he moved away up to New York. Yep. But you guys might remember him. His name is Alex, just like me. Where you dig back way in the videos, there was that RX-8 yeah. that you were tearing to pieces. And everybody's and like, ah, oh, import. Oh. I, I had no faith in it, honestly. <laughs> He kept telling me these wild dreams he had, and uh, anyway, so he's made a trip back down here to my neck of the woods, yeah. and we're at a shop where they've been doing apparently some crazy stuff to this, and he went full race car. We'll talk about motor and all that. Yeah, we'll talk about motor and stuff in there. Um, your the goals for this car now, Like four seconds in the eighth or something yeah, like that? Like, it turned into like real deal, and you guys will understand when you see this. A lot of you guys are going to see this and go, there's no way an import is going to go that fast. I promise you that this is going to be like severely fast like it's got a four-cylinder Mazda engine in it it's a 2.5 liter uh, stroker build off of the 2.3 yeah it came in the EcoBoost Mustang yeah uh, the predecessor was the Mazda Speed gotcha all right so it's a 2.3 liter motor that is um, go. yeah. now a 2.5 built with sleeves um, the motor will be done getting assembled next week. It's actually running a EcoBoost Mustang 6R80. Really? So we were trying to figure out transmissions. Well, uh, Holly wanted about two grand just to make a bell housing for it. Okay. Because nothing was out. They only make a T56 bell housing for the EcoBoost. Yeah. So I was like, I got to figure out a different way. So I went this way and I found a guy that makes a uh, standalone controller for it to tune all your shift points and stuff like that. But we can get in that nitty gritty. I want to show you guys this thing because it's ridiculous. What's the name of the shop before you even go in here? So uh, Tyler at Performance Design and Fabrication. They're I don't local. even know where I'm at. It's just some, I guess he relocated. Yeah, so he here. relocated um, due, due to some stuff with COVID and stuff. He had to relocate small downsized shops, um, but he's still pushing through. He's, he's got crazy stuff in so the pipeline. So these guys build cages, chassis. Full, full chassis ground up. They have chassis tables to build a, a chassis from scratch. And that's what I'm looking at right here. You're looking at a chassis table, welding table, um, and then he's got pieces over there because he's still kind of moving in, getting adjusted. Sweet. So but, let's go uh, check it out. Yes, yeah, check it out. You man. ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm, right. I guess I'm ready. So okay, <laughs> I, I see the parachute on you know the uh, the mount back here. There's a lot to it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through it. And Tyler, before we get to the cart, I want to give a huge shout out to my fabricator. Okay. Tyler at Performance Design and Fabrication. You guys can hit him up. He's in the Clarksville area where Alex is from. I'll link it all down in the description. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Hit this man up if you need any kind of fab work because what you're about to see will speak for itself. Well, right? I need a roll cage of mine. Okay. 1100 horsepower Mustang. <laughs> okay. We, we may have to be talk. Yeah, yeah. We, have, we may have to talk. I will faithfully say that you are in the right hands. So Look at this right here. Look at this fuel cell. Ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so to give you give you an idea, this is a fully back half car. Okay. We literally chopped the frame off right behind the driver's seat and extended the frame rails with some uh, nice square uh, frame rails in the back. Uh, it is a full custom Fab 9 rear, uh, Ford 9 inch rear end, four link suspension, anti-roll bar, everything, the works. Anything that you'd want in a drag car to withstand 
a ridiculous this is not like your everyday import this thing is full race car as you're going to show us throughout this video yeah. so all right we see the parachute mount mine actually has one of those too yes we need it we um need it. when you go fast you need stuff yeah well i've been 155 so far on baby faster, boost though. yeah we are going faster okay. we're going built we're going built motor so sneak peek at some videos coming up uh, mine is finally getting built. So outside of the car, pretty unassuming, right? You, you see this, minus the parachute. Otherwise, stock looking RX-8. Don't mind the front wheels. Though. I bought this car originally from a trailer park. Oh, it was a piece of shit when you it bought it. It was terrible. Uh, oh, it had these like, yeah. their wheels are like 40 <laughs> pounds a piece. It's ridic ridiculous. So those will get replaced with skinnies. The body is all mixed match panels. It had a lot of body damage. They sourced the car and got some replacement parts. Gotcha. Uh, kind of pieced it together. Um, so we'll get, we'll start with the front here. Yeah, man. Look so, at this, look at this. So oh. The front, he put together a full like tube front end, very minimalistic, very easy to get to. Um, wow. Fully adjustable coilovers. It's got a tubular subframe in it. Um, the firewall looks like it hasn't been touched, but it's actually been cut, notched, and uh, I remember, I remember what it all, yeah. So the engine actually sits back in. He's cut it, flushed it, uh, you know, got the whole firewall flat gotcha. and everything. Yeah, look at this. Yes, man. So this is a look at the well. This so intercooler good. is this this wide. Okay. So it's a Treadstone TR uh, twelve forty five dash twenty eight. Smaller radiator, and then uh, yeah, they they built. I got a Miata steering rack, and they gutted it and and did it correctly and resealed everything inside of it. Wow. The motor and trans will go back in it tomorrow. It's a it's a blown up motor for mock-up. Oh. Yeah, so he built all the motor mounts and everything for it. They're all custom made out of chromoly. Look at that. Yeah, I was just welding on it like three hours ago. Yeah, look at, speaking of welds, yeah, look at the job here. Really, really good stuff here. Yeah, full custom uh, trans mount. Okay. 6R80. Now let's move on to the good stuff. Yeah, man. Real quick before we get to the interior, I know a lot of you guys out there to watch me for Mustang content, and we're going to talk about some of my story in here. This is kind of where my car could end up heading at some point. <laughs> this is full race car. What I'm about to show you right now, I'm looking at it's. I'm impressed. So you saw the engine bay, but I mean, you have to appreciate this is not just an import. Mm, this, this is. Your is average this is race car yeah. so here we go all right so, let's go to the interior first important thing everybody knows rx8s they have the first door but he also left this the actual back door still functioning oh wow to access the he back. didn't like weld it shut or nothing like nothing. that that's pretty cool so we can get to everything so you got a full 10 point cage in yep. here all chromoly no mild steel just all chromoly okay uh, so you got some more lightweight there exactly yep um, everything under this beautiful artwork of sheet metal is the the custom frame rails, the Ford 9-inch, the Fab 9 housing, everything like that, which I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. But show them how nice the cage fitment is up and tucked in. Okay, I mean, yeah. Utilized every... Let's check this out. So here's your plate. Everything's been, looks like it's primer down, ready to paint. Come on camera, focus. Look at that. Unreal. This is good stuff. Okay, yeah, look at the, the clearance here. And you have your, you got your halos that come all the way across. Look at all. This is right up here. I can just barely get a finger, so it's real tight. Yeah, I said it was close really fun fit. To weld. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> but it's not hanging down, and he's, it looks like he's used. Uh, the space available really wisely. You're, you're a little taller than me. I'm six foot two. Yeah. And I'm gonna get a different steering wheel that can pop off. Yes. But. <laughs> that looks fun. That looks fun. Even with a helmet on, I'm gonna have. So, I'm eye. Yeah, I'm about eye level with you right now. I got, oh yeah, dude, like a whole foot. But I mean, he has this. The ergonomics of everything that he did is designed around me. The day one of this build, he sat me in the car and marked. There's still marks on the floor for where my seating position was. Yeah. And he built the build around where I sit. Wow. It's real deal. You need to get your car in here. But let me let me let me try to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah, man. I'm a little shorter than you. Yeah. Once I get a steering wheel that can come out, it'll be a little easier. Yeah, I'll let here. you take over. Yeah, buddy. Because this is uh, something we might be doing mine here pretty soon. Oh yeah. The roll case what? Oh wow. 
So you can see like everything, like the bar is not too close. Like everything feels. No, so what's basic. nice though, is if you did want that option, you can have uh, door door bar swing outs. Well, that's something I've been thinking about too. Right. And I gotta talk to him see if he can do something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, yep. But yeah, I mean, this is where your hand's gonna be. Yeah, and you guys can see he's got tons of leg room. Yeah. Everything's set up. I mean, this is basically his view from the front. I mean, he can see yep. everything. This is, this is you look good in there, dude. <laughs> one, day, one day, this is pretty serious stuff right here, man. Yeah. I get I get beat on so much right. on my channel. Why do I not have a cage yet? It's coming. I just don't know which. This is really cool. I like this idea because it's custom. I don't, however, know if I'm ready for an 850 cert with halos over my head yet. Yeah, and honestly, it just comes with seating position, how he builds a seat around the cage, too. Everything he does is to map out for the future. So this cage right here is an 850 cert. We plan to surpass that, so he has set it up to where when we come back for like a funny car style, like around the head cage, he yeah. already has it mapped out so where he can add on those bars and not yeah, have an issue. Yeah. So, super awesome. Yeah. No wasted space. No, it's actually, yeah, it's 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 great. Just looking at it. About drag cars. Yeah. NHRA. Okay. With their rules, they'll actually allow you to weld um, a few joints in the cage only three quarters of the way around. Gotcha. And then put gussets in to support that lack of up to a 25% of weld. I don't do that. Okay. Every single weld in here is 100%. 100% around, no fail. So safety first. Don't, don't safety care. first. Yeah, so first. So this is actually like NHRA, NRA, yeah. NHRA certified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, 50, gotcha. 50 certified. 850 50, 50 cert. 50 and the quarter mile certified. Yeah, 100%. And then a cage is a lot more than just safety. People don't think about it. Rigidity. This car right here is what makes the chassis. Right. Like, yeah, you got a back half, you got big power or whatever, but if it don't work together in unison or is tied together properly, you're just going to blow your tires off every time. Yeah. And you'll be crying wide, you know, and it's just because you didn't think about you the build. You didn't start with the foundation. Started. Gotcha. Yeah. And so that's why I always recommend, like, yeah, you can build a motor. You know, have tons of power, but if you can't get it down reliably, what's, what's the, the point? point? A lot of people look at it as a safety thing they don't want to spend money on, but man, it's way more than just saving your life. But I mean, everybody watches TV. Wrecks are more common than you think, and it happens to anybody, even the best of racers. So. It eventually is. It's kind of like riding a bike. It's going to happen on? eventually. Yeah. You do it long yep. enough, it's going to happen to you. Yep. I've been looking at some, like the RPM cages or like Watson and stuff like that. There's like two or three companies that I could recommend to a customer if that was the route they wanted to go. But like I, it, usually if it's pre-bent, I'm like, okay, if that's something you're doing yourself in your home garage, whatever, like that's, that's dope. But you can't beat a custom yeah, and, cage. Uh, we may have to talk after yeah, this. Yeah, well, people just need to come and talk to the fabricators. Yeah, yeah. Let's check out the. Part about it. So this is this is where the meat and potatoes are, and what's going to make this car boogie down the track. Yeah. He can vouch. Yeah. He can vouch for this. This car will be able to 60 foot a 1.0 or better. Oh my gosh. Dude. If I have if I have the means to do it. You're trying to pull the wheels up is what you're going to do. Oh, so, it will. Oh, it will. It will. <laughs> yeah. Backstory motor. And we're going full Moltec, full standalone ECU, full custom harness, everything. This car will make will make over a thousand horsepower as a four cylinder. It built sleet, everything. We're planning on somewhere around the eleven hundred horsepower range. What do you think the raceway is gonna be? Raceway I'm hoping to be We will know very close to what the raceway will be in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna burn my scales over and I toss them under back in the morning and we're gonna scale it because we wanna know just to, you know. A Minus like turbo electronic stuff like that. But honestly, I'm hoping. Uh, so I won't ruin your. But you think 25? You'll, uh, race weight with driver, I think it'll be under 25. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> so with a thousand uh, horsepower. Yeah. That's the, the that's race to weight ratio. Or the power to weight ratio is. That's nasty. Is I've got a, I've got 1100 of mine, but we with me in it, we weigh 4,000. Modern muscle isn't always the greatest thing to actually be competitive drag racing at. I agree. Right. So yeah, let's so see I the goods. Nice setup for you. Why don't you bring them down and show them the goods? All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Uh, so you got look at this full custom Fab Nine. Oh, housing God. and this thing probably has Tyler. What would you say? Just in the housing alone, you probably got what forty to fifty hours in. Yeah, we forty to fifty it. hours. Yeah, so it was, it was built on a table, just not fifteen feet from me. Everything from the brakes to the other side, housing, all the gussets, brackets, everything was all custom made. 
by hand in house. That's crazy. Look at just and that roll bar up top. Yeah, rear support into the. So these are the custom frame rails. He actually designed them on a computer and then made them. All the boxed frame rails over there. It goes all the way to the front to behind the driver, and it's all gusseted and braced down low. Some crazy stuff here, dude. Yeah, this AFCO shocks, all the anti-roll bars with the, all the adjustments, all four link up front, all the four link bars running up to the front, all fully adjustable. I never would have ever thought, the last time I saw it, it would look like this. No, got an so. eight gallon fuel cell and a battery box. You know, once we get some stuff mocked up, it's gonna get full interior paint, full exterior paint, be ready to rock. We're super stoked about it. This is something that's never been done. This is the first, the first swap like this in the world that no one has done it. I've done my research. There's somebody that did an RX-8 with like a MZR style swap, but the, the thing that's so special about the MZR DISI, okay. just like the EcoBoost is a direct injection motor. So a lot of people steer to like the stuff where it's just normal port injection, yeah. no direct injection. They kind of go past that, but we want to push our Mazda platform that we follow so much to the next level. Which is port and DI, is yeah, what you're so saying? It'll have, it'll have DI, okay, and then it has an intake manifold that has four separate injectors that will run all off the So it's like a Gen 3 Coyote. Exactly. Right. Like I said, this has been an idea of ours for two years now, and it's all coming together. If you made it this far, again, spooling up performance, he's a good friend of mine. We've known each other for a while. Haven't seen him in a little bit, though. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would agree. You know, import, you know, we're, we're not talking about like a Civic here with like fart cans and stuff. No. This is set up. I feel like everybody this can is, appreciate like a good build. You know what I mean? Like, uh, as a car enthusiast, yeah. this is really, really cool to look at. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I, don't, I, I love Mustang, it's where my heart is. Yeah. But I'm not a fanboy by any means. Right. I mean, everybody out there that knows me, that watch, watching my channel knows that. Yeah. So if That's it's fast, I, I enjoy it. And we can. We were just talking about this earlier. Like, right. if you're if you're a car guy, man, you can really appreciate. Like, I mean, this is a work of art, dude. Like, yeah. I, no, this uh, is good. I anything up to this point, I've had no hand on. I mean, I give that all to Tyler. Yeah. He has done an incredible job, and we really are all just excited. I got a huge team behind me to get this thing up and running for next season. Um, well, I can't wait to see it, yeah, dude. All right, we're gonna make this part once. We're gonna pick it up tomorrow because they're gonna be throwing an engine into the front of this car and we're gonna check fitment and all that. I'm really super pumped to see what it's going to look like sitting there. Uh, big plans, obviously, for Alex over here. Check him out, spooling up performance, man. I've got some of the inside information which I won't leak. You can have to go over to his channel, check it out. But I really appreciate you coming back down here and you guys doing all the hard work and letting me get to see something like this because it gives me some ideas for the future. Ideas. He's been he's been talking, all right? He's got some plans. You guys just need to make sure you subscribe to see what's coming because I have a feeling uh, you got wheels turning in your head now and that's all you're gonna be thinking about for a little bit. <laughs> I, I do. Well, everybody keeps saying I need a cage and uh, this might be a viable solution. So <laughs> I was thinking about doing, you know, one of the Watsons or like an RPM, but something custom, a little bit more money maybe, but it's again, tailored, it's custom. It's tailored to your liking. Correct. So we're going to wrap it up and come back in the morning. See an engine place somewhere in this vicinity here. I don't know how far back it's going to sit because all this is custom. This is really cool for uh, a lot of you guys watching. If you're into stuff like this, I certainly am. But until next video, I'll see all of you guys later. Bye.